Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. Now, this is a question that I've been seeing all around the community that I want to finally answer, okay? So, styling rich text blocks or rich text elements within Webflow is kind of confusing. And so, I've made an up-to-date video on how to do that, okay? So, I'll be showing you how to style images, links, paragraphs, H1s, 2.3s, whatnot. Whatever element that you put inside of a rich text block or ele uh, rich text element, I'll show you how to style that for your dynamic uh, CMS pages within Webflow. All right, ready to do this? Let's go. Okay, here we go. So, I've created a collection of blog posts with um, just dummy data for now. And with one of the blog posts, uh, there's a rich text element and it's called post body. And we have different types of elements. This one right here, this is a H2. This is a regular paragraph. This obviously is a link. This is a H3. That's a block quote, and this is an image of a model Y. Okay, and let's go ahead and put a caption to model Y. Cool, done. So obviously we can't style these inside of the CMS collections manager. Okay, this is only for inputting and editing data. Okay, so I'm gonna click save, and how we style these rich text elements or these rich text fields is within the designer tool. So what I'm going to do is leave the CMS collections manager by clicking the X at the top right. And now I'm going to go to my purple dynamic page template and start styling. Okay. So I'm going to, let's just put in a container and in the container, let's just at a margin. This is not for style points. This is just for function, just to show you how, how it's done. I'm going to drag in a rich text element, bind that to my rich text field from the collection. And there we go. Okay. Let me go to the why we love web flow item. Okay, cool. So now you, you're probably thinking, okay, now I want to style the H3, the link, the block quote, and the, the image. I want to style these across all of the other CMS items. So usually you would try to double click or even start styling it right here. No, that's not how you do it. Okay. How you do it is you go back to your page panel, create a new page, and let's just call this rich text style. Okay, and we're on a blank page. I'm going to drag in a rich text, and I'm going to give this, so this is static page, I'm gonna give this rich text block a class name. So I'm gonna give it a class of uh, RTE, or rich text element, okay? And now I'm going to put different types of elements inside of it. So I'm going to double click inside, and now we're in the rich text element. Press return, and I'm going to add in, I'm going to add an image. So let's go ahead and just add any image. Give it a caption. And I'm going to put in a text link and actually give it a link by highlighting it, giving it a link. There we go. And going to a nifty website. And let's also set this to a block quote. And there we go. So we have a couple of different elements in here. Now, if I click outside of the rich text element, check out, check out my uh, navigator, all right? So you see here, there is a, now a figure, there's a figure caption, there's a div block, there's image, there's a block quote. So all of those new elements that I added are now here. This one right here, a link is within the paragraph. So all of those are here. 
Now I can start styling them inside of this static rich text element, okay? So for here, for H2, I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna press, or actually, I'm gonna click inside of here. And notice, like, I can't, I'm typing on my keyboard. I can't give it a class name. What I can do is select all H2 headings, and then this plus sign right here, when nested inside of a class name of RTE, style it like this. So I'm gonna give this a style of this font and we'll make it semi-medium or semi-bold. It's 40 by 46, there we go. Also give it a different or color so you can really tell that it's changed. Okay, so all H2s that happen within this art, um, rich text element will be this style. Now for paragraphs, same thing. Click inside the selector, all paragraphs, and then nest selector inside of, and start playing around. Like what if I wanna, I don't know, for some reason, add more margin to the bottom and top. I don't know why you'd do that, but yeah, there you go. And let's just, just for giggles. There we go. Okay, whatever you wanna do. Now for this image, again, all images when uh, nested inside of. I can go ahead and style this. Like, let's just say it has a filter of grayscale, but when you hover over it, the grayscale goes away. So, something like that. Play around with the caption. So, you see the pattern? Make um, elements, just dummy elements. Style them however you see fit. And then um, and then you're done, okay? Well, I mean, you're done with this part. All links, make sure that it's not underlined. Let's make it bold and give it a color of that, okay? All right, so how does this affect your um, actual dynamic page rich text element. So if I go back to pages and click on the uh, post template, as you can see here, nothing happened, okay? But if I click on the rich text block and go to the selector, I'm going to type in the same class name that I gave the static one, RTE, and there we go. All of my changes have been applied to the dynamic one, okay? So again, go to rich, uh, we make a, we make a, um, a static page, a static dummy page with all of the dummy content with different types of um, elements and we style them inside of, uh, we, we style them however we see fit and then we apply that same class name, RTE, to the dynamic one, all right? So let me just add more space here, just for fun. There we go. And let me go back to this. And there we go, that block quote was changed. And there you go. That's how to do it. Hopefully this helps. Cool. So now that you understand the whole process on how to do that, uh, let me know if you still have any questions on this and maybe I can make another up-to-date up -date video. But yeah, ask any questions you want in the comments section. Uh, also leave any ideas for a future video that you want to learn from. I'm here to help. I'm here to help you learn uh, how to master Webflow. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to support me, that subscribe button is there, the like button's there, and hey, that little bell, click that too. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.